Hey, do you know where the term Mexican comes from? According to the academic book, Afro-Mexicans and the Nation They Constructed by Dr. Marco Polo Hernandez Cuevas, the label of Mexican was applied mainly to the offspring of African and First Nations people born in the so-called New World. In other words, Mexican was a synonym of African offspring, including children of African and Spanish, African and First Nation, African and Asian, and the offspring of all of these mixes. So basically what that means is if you had any African ancestry, you were considered a Mexican. The 19th century French immigrant Pierre, I can't say his last name, was in Mexico in the 1830s and he declared, the inhabitants of Mexico can be divided into two major classes, the aborigines of the country, meaning First Nations people, and the Mexicans. This statement makes it clear that First Nations people and Mexicans were conceived as two separate classes in Mexico of the 1830s. So this means that the Spanish labeled First Nations people separate from Mexicans and Mexicans were considered people of African ancestry who were mixed with other groups. Lumping all colonial groups of Mexicans into one mestizo category was a master blow against Mexican cultural history. Um, by renaming Mexican casas to mestizos, the Africanness of Mexico was whitened, thus a formerly African phenotype of Mexicans proper who built the nation and nationality were deleted from the mind and thereby disenfranchised historically. Until the birth of the nation in 1821, the term Mexican was referent for all non-European colors, particularly the African quote-unquote mixes. The name Mexican was the ultimate insult towards anyone who considered themselves or herself European. So what this means is that the Spanish referred to people who were mixed African descent as Mexican. So the term Mexican was synonymous with African offspring. The brand name Mexican applied by Europeans was from its inception racially charged. To say Mexican was to say quote unquote colored by African blood. The fact that African and African offspring fathered and mothered the true Mexican nation and nationality was replaced by the criollo myth of mestizaje during the cultural phase of the Mexican revolution. The people who didn't fit the mestizo identity who were black Mexicans, they were actually left out of the constitution in 1857. So to recap, the term Mexican was used during the colonial period to refer to children of African mixed people. To learn more, you can read Afro-Mexicans and the Nation They Constructed by Dr. Marco Polo Nandes Cuevas. I'll put the sources in the comments. And um, I also have recommendations for other Afro-Mexican history books from other Hi, I want to recommend to you some academic Afro-Mexican history books. The first one I recommend is African Mexicans and the Discourse on the Modern Nation by Marco Polo Hernandez Cuevas. Afro-Mexican Constructions of Diaspora, Gender, Identity, and Nation by Paula Paulette Ramsey. The next one is Afrodescendientes sobre la piel canela. If you get this book as an ebook, you can actually translate it into English uh, using Google Translate. Another book I recommend is Mexico's Nobodies by B. Christine Arce. Another book is Afro-Mexican Ancestors and the Nation They Constructed by Marco Polo Hernandez Cuevas. So a lot of the books and articles that I source come from university libraries. So you have to get them through JSTOR or Google Scholar. You're not going to find this information on Google. You'll have to go through a university database. You either have to be an enrolled college student or a professor to access this information, or you have to pay for the books or articles individually.